I am the master. Only a master of evil does. <laughs> Aside from the main character, Ahsoka is definitely not short on well-known Star Wars faces. Rebel staples like Hera Syndulla, Sabine Wren, or Ezra Bridger, as well as more established characters like Mon Mothma. A role that Genevieve O'Reilly had previously played in Ander are just a few examples. However, Anthony Daniels' reprisal as C-3PO in this week's episode, Dreams and Madness, included one of the original trilogy's biggest moments. The actor praised fans for their kind remarks after making an appearance in the most recent episode of Star Wars TV series. I found this to be quite touching. In addition to playing a distinct role in Solo, Daniels has been a part of the Star Wars brand since its inception, having appeared as C-3PO in all nine Skywalker saga films including Rogue One. He has also played the Golden Protocol droid again in a number of TV movies and series, Ahsoka being perhaps one of his most notable recent small-screen roles. Daniels posted the following on X, formerly known as Twitter, on his experience on the Disney Plus original and the reaction from fans to his cameo. Star Wars fans should give Anthony Daniels all the love they can give, so it's wonderful that he's received so many compliments over his time on Ahsoka. The regular partner of R2-D2 made an appearance during Hera Sindola's disciplinary hearing, which was held after she disobeyed orders from her New Republic superiors to follow Ahsoka Tano and Sabine Rendecitos. For those who haven't seen this new episode yet, you can watch it here on Disney+. Plus. Leia Organa personally approved Hera's expedition to Cedos, according to a data transcript C-3PO provided. However, the senator was not aware that Senator Xiono had led a vote against the mission, albeit without Hera's presence. Since Leia is currently leading the Defense Council in the Star Wars universe, she was prepared to accept the error as long as any future issues were discussed with her directly. Hera was so absolved of responsibility and gave Chancellor Mon Mothma her word that Leia had approved the expedition, albeit some manipulation of the timeline. Either way, C-3PO made a good stand-in for the late Carrie Fisher, and Daniels returned to the role after making a cameo in the first episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi last year. Apparently, the Ahsoka team wasn't willing to find a new actress to play the role that Fisher once held. Ahsoka has one more episode, which airs on Tuesday at 6 p.m. PT slash 9 p.m. ET. After that, though it's still unclear, it appears like Skeleton Crew will be the next in the planned slate of Star Wars TV series to air. Given the storyline of the series, it's unlikely that C-3PO will make an appearance there, but I'm crossing my hopes that Anthony Daniels will reprise his role as C-3PO in one of the other New Republic-area episodes, or maybe Dave Filoni's Star Wars film that connects these shows.